Hi, I'm Irina Baker. Have you ever wondered why bad things happen to good people? And if you wonder, did you ask why? And if you ask why, did you find the answer? And if you found the answer, is it the correct one? A friend of my friend recently had her breast removed due to uh, breast cancer. And she was doing everything right to make sure that her recovery is complete and her remission will be and your and her remission will be permanent. Yesterday we found the news that metastases spread inside your inside her body. How would you react to that news? What would you do? How you would feel? And what solution would you want to find? Bad things happen to good people. And even Jesus experienced bad time, as you know. And I say it with the full respect. Maybe you right now found yourself in some kind of crisis, drama, difficult time, difficult circumstances. Maybe it's a lack of money of never enough. Maybe it's debt that it's looming over your head. Maybe it's not so happy relationships that you want to change or, or you want to get rid of. Maybe it's lack of business or professional success. Or maybe you are dealing with difficult people in your life who either bully you, attacking you, or simply disrespecting you, and you don't know what to do about it, and this situation makes you miserable. The common response people usually have is two steps. First one is to get into the panic mode or get triggered. It's anger, it's fear, it's worry, it's being upset or, or worrying about something. So anything, all, all, this, all these feelings are negative. So that's usually the first response because it's a knee-jerk reaction to an unpleasant situation. It makes you feel very bad in whatever shape or form. And the second is to take actions, to try to fix the situation, whatever it is, by taking actions. However, all of that is on the surface. Uh, so that's why the situation might repeat itself. How are you sure that your crisis, your difficult situation will not repeat itself? Remember the word pattern? People use the word pattern sometimes to describe. They say it's a pattern of my life. I've I've heard that a life. Uh, I've heard that a lot in my working with people, and this pattern means some unpleasant situation keeps rising its ugly head, keeps appearing in front of you, confronting you over and over and over again. And when the pattern exists, that means you haven't found the solution because it didn't disappear. It stays permanently in your life when it should be gone permanently. So again, bad, why bad things happen to good people? Because you are a good person. So why bad situations happen to you? And maybe even now you are staying up at night because some pain or some difficult situation keeps you up at night and you're wondering why, why is it happening and why can't I solve it? Well, I have bad news and good news for you. So I'll start with bad news and I will finish with good news. So the bad news is, well, the answer to your question why is you are not looking in the right direction. Therefore, you're not finding the right answer because actually every crisis has, every crisis is an opportunity. And so every difficult situation has a solution somewhere near, but because we're not looking in the right direction, we're blind to it. We don't see it. We don't hear it. Therefore, we're not acknowledging and we're not following it. And that's why situations come, keep coming back again and again and again. And we wonder what's wrong with us or what's wrong with our life. And if we're not looking in the right direction, we're not changing the direction. 
we're doing the same, taking the same actions over and over. So how can you expect a different result if you are having, you taking the same actions or you're doing the same thing all over again, expecting different result? So bad situations will keep coming into your life over and over and over. So where is the solution? Everyone has different problems. Let's say if it's poor health, you think you need medical care. If it's lack of money, you or your debt, you need to make more money and pay off your debt. What if relationships not really happy? Well, you think that you might need to work on improving your relationships or change the status of it and so forth. And so, or with business and professional success, if you don't have that, you are working hard to make sure you will eventually achieve that success. Well, all of it is on the surface. These are the surface answers and these are the surface actions. And they will not give you permanent deep results because the results will be on the surface like a Band-Aid. And the Band-Aid doesn't stay long you will have to apply new Band-Aid over again and again. So it's rinse and repeat. A bad situation comes, you deal with it on the surface and it disappears for a moment and then it comes back. The Band-Aid is on and it's never off. So what's the solution to that? Well, what I've discovered uh, in my experience, uh, because I have, my, of course, like everybody else, I have had my share of struggles, difficulties, ugly things in my life, and pain. And I also found success and happiness and joy and peace. And so I know both sides of the medal. And I do know that how I achieved the opposite side because I have eliminated drama from my life. And if a bad situation comes my way, I know how to handle it. I don't need to go into the panic mode. I don't need to go into the stress mode because I know exactly how to deal with this bad situation, how to deal with my crisis and actually not make it as a crisis or turn it as an opportunity. And the, the, because of that, I find the solution very easily and the situation goes away. Yes, some situations require longer work on it, but the solution is there and I know it. And so how do I know what I know? Well, I've discovered, and I teach my clients about that, I've discovered that all these seemingly different problems have one common denominator. And this common denominator is super important to address because this common denominator is responsible for all the problems, all the difficult situations, all the drama in your life, all the pain, all everything that you would like to be gone from your life forever. And there is the way. And this way is to address that common denominator and know what it is. And so I am inviting you to my three full three days virtual life event. It's called Divine Wealth, the inner journey home to freedom and power, freedom from all the bad stuff that happens in your life, the drama, the difficult situations, lack of money, debt, not enough business and professional success, less than happy relationships, difficult people, and so forth, and eliminating your pain, freedom from your pain, freedom from anger, freedom from fear, and so forth, and the power, the power to create the life you want, full of joy, peace, harmonious relationships, and success, and also plenty. And there is a way, but it starts with the common denominator. And so I'm inviting you to register at irinabaker.com forward slash wealth, and your life will change. You will find out why bad things happen to good people and what to do about it.